Like, are you kidding me? You think the Olympics is gone? The Euros is gone? At this point, probably rear of the fucking year has been cancelled, but somehow they think the Edinburgh Festival's going to be fine. Hello, welcome to Rob Mulholland Has an Opinion, the podcast where I, Rob Mulholland, have opinions about things. I hope you're well. Isolation isn't so bad when you've got your pal Rob on the internet. Good to see you. I'm cracking up. Uh, anyway, let's get into it. This episode is about the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. Now, uh, as some of you may know, this is a topic that's particularly close to my heart. I love the Edinburgh Festival. I've uh, been every year for like, a bunch of years now uh, as a comedian. You know, it's one of the highlights of my year. I love grumbling about it, look complaining about it, because there's plenty of things wrong with it. But, you know, the, the thing with the Edinburgh Festival is no matter how much people try and ruin it, they can't. It's great. It's a brilliant thing. But at the moment, I'll be honest with you, I'm absolutely fucking raging with them. Like, the Edinburgh Festival 2020 still hasn't cancelled, right? They are still labouring under the misapprehension that somehow all of this is going to lift. Covid will just fuck off and we will all be absolutely fine by August. And they're just continuing to send out emails to people who are meant to be doing the festival going, yeah, no, we're still trying to get it going. It's still might happen and like it is absolutely fucking absurd like are you kidding me you think the olympics is gone the euros is gone at this point probably rear of the fucking year has been cancelled but somehow they think the edinburgh festival is going to be fine like oh yeah i'm sure i'm sure by august it'll be totally fine to have a, a festival where people fly in from all around the world to sit in small basements close to each other coughing in the fucking damp dark fucking humid environment are you kidding me it's it's mental. Even if they are legally allowed to put it on, which they won't. I don't think we'll even be out of our fucking houses by then. But even if, they, if people are allowed out, who the fuck's going to want to go? Who the fuck's going to be able to afford to go? No one's got any fucking money because no one's working. And right, and it comes down to this. They have taken money off comedians, right? Because there is an early brochure registration in order to be uh, part of the main, officially part of the festival. I never bother doing this because fuck being official fucking registered but anyway you have to pay uh, right at the beginning of March you have to put in your show for the festival right so you sign up you write what your show is going to be about even though you haven't fucking written any of it uh, you put your little picture in and your blurb and you pay an exorbitant amount of money you pay uh, you pay 300 quid for the uh, early bird discount deadline and for that you get like two lines of text in a catalogue that's like bigger than a fucking Argos catalogue right no one that use it is bollocks anyway that's an issue for another time but even when Covid was kicking in, right, the Rona was fucking spreading. We knew what was coming. They were still taking those fees off people. They didn't move the deadline. They didn't set, They didn't extend it for a few weeks until we found out what the situation was going to be. They were still like, no, it'll be fine. Give us your money. You've got to give us your money. Otherwise, they won't be part of it and we'll charge you more money anyway. So come on, give us your money. And they've taken all that money and they're still continuing to pretend that there is a festival that they are paying for with it. It's not happening. It is never going to happen. Cancel it now, you fucking irresponsible pricks. Like, even if it was legally allowed, it is not a fucking good idea. Like, Edinburgh, like, surely if you live in Edinburgh, if you're a person who actually lives there, you'd be fucking livid about this. Because, like, the Edinburgh Festival spreads disease at the best of times, right? In the best year, there is, like, flus and contagions that go around all the people there. Because people come from all over the world, all these fucking drama students and flyers, and everyone just shags each other, and it's like things spread around the whole festival. Everyone's always fucking ill. That is in a year where we don't have an absolute pandemic kicking off. It, it's madness. Like, if you live in the city, you surely can't want this to happen. Like, there's a lot of old people who live in Edinburgh as well. There is a lot of fucking old people who live in that city. And the people who aren't old aren't healthy. They're Scottish. Their breathing isn't fucking good. They're going to be destroyed by COVID if people turn up with this. Honestly, it's doing my fucking head in. It just feels so irresponsible. And it's just like keeping this pretense that there is a festival to happen. And anyway, there can't be because comedians... All right, I can't speak for other performers because I don't give a shit about other art forms. Fuck off. Fuck off theatre. Like, I don't give a crap. But for a comedian to write a show 
it takes months, all right? For me, it, ta- it takes me a year normally because, you know, I write jokes. I don't just go, hoo, boo, hoo, my grandma died. Anyway, but it takes a long time. You've got to preview it. You've got to take it to audiences, test it out, sp- sp- say it to people. If there's no gigs to do, how are they going to do that? And the Edinburgh Festival costs thousands per performers, right? Performers lose loads of money at the Edinburgh Festival. If, you know, like if you get suckered into it, which I have done in the past, but, uh, you know, if you go for the full festival thing, you can easily, like, people spend thousands of pounds on the Edinburgh Festival. Where are they getting that from? Live comedy doesn't exist. No comedians are working. How are they meant to get money? How are they meant to get material? It's not happening. Like, if there was an Edinburgh Festival this year, like, the shows there would be even lazier than fucking normal. Like, I don't want to go, because Fe- going to the Edinburgh Festival is fucking expensive, whether you're a performer or or just an audience member and who wants to go to a festival to watch 300 shows from middle class people going like I was actually quite sad during isolation I was sat alone and I looked out of the window and it was mm, bollocks to that cannot be asked fucking sack it off cancel the festival it's ridiculous that anyone's even pretending it is even slightly possible and like the only reason is so they can keep hold of the money what other reason can there possibly be to pretend there is going to be an Edinburgh Festival this year? It's not happening. We'll see you in 2021 and it'll be fucking brilliant because next year we're all going to be absolutely gassed for like being there and being out and being excited to perform shows to people who want to come and see them. And we'll have had an extra year to write our shows and they'll be sick. If it happens this year, it won't happen. If it did happen this year, it would be dog shit. But it's not happening. The people involved at the top of the festival need to pull their fucking fingers out, hand sanitise them, and then cancel the fucking festival because it is not happening. You are being absolutely fucking absurd by pretending that it is. Fucking hell. Anyway, that's my opinion on the 2020 Edinburgh Fringe that is never going to bastard exist. Uh, If you've enjoyed this, then please, if you're watching on YouTube, like, subscribe, do all those things, guys. Hey, ring that fucking bell. Uh, If you're listening to this in podcast form, leave us a five-star review on iTunes. Do remember to share this around amongst your mates. That's the most. That's the best way for people to find this. Is if one of their mates go, "Hey, there's this guy who does funny stuff on the internet. Have a look. How about you do that? Be a good egg." Also, uh, I will be uh, live on Twitch as this is released. Uh, it will be probably right now that I'm on. Oh, how lovely! Anyway, uh, Monday to Saturday. Every week until the crisis is over, 2pm to 6pm, I'll be on Twitch streaming. Uh, I'm going to be having mates on. Like uh, I know I've got some like mates confirmed who are going to come on. Uh, Adam Rowe, Dane Baptiste, Ishan Akbar, some great fucking comedians. We're going to have chats with them and I'm going to be playing games. It's going to be a right laugh, right? You've got nothing better to do. So get on to twitch.tv forward slash Rob Mulholland. Catch me on there. Also, watch my stand-up comedy special on YouTube. You've not got an excuse at the moment. There's nothing else to do. So uh, search for Too Big to Fail on YouTube. And uh, also, do remember, during the crisis, everything that is donated to me, be it via Patreon or subscriptions to my Twitch channel, donations, all that sort of thing, I'm giving direct to the Trussell Trust so that they can uh, provide meals for people who desperately need them at the moment. So do that. My website is robcomedy.co.uk. That's where you can get in touch with me, find out all details about me, and you can uh, yeah get in touch, info at robcomedy.co.uk, or tweet me, it is at Rob Mulholland, same on Instagram. And yeah, I think that's all I've got to tell you. So I'll be back with another one of these very shortly, and the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, fuck off, fuck right off. We'll see you next year, and it'll be a lot of fun, but until then, fuck off. Fuck <laughs> off.